My name is Hiroshi Takayanagi. I am the professor of the Department of Cell Signaling, Tokyo Medical and Dental University, Japan. I'm very thrilled to hear that our paper was picked up for the 10th anniversary of the development of cell. Our paper uh, is entitled uh, Induction and Activation of the Transcription Factor NFATC1 Integrate Rank Lion Signaling in Terminal Differentiation of Osteoclasts. In this paper, we identified NFATC1 to be the master transcription factor for osteoclast differentiation. I was the first author of the paper, and but the study was done in the laboratory of Professor Tadatsubu Taniguchi. Uh, he is in the uh, Department of Immunology, University of Tokyo. So, Dr. Takanagi, you are an orthopedic surgeon. Why you decided to join the Department of Immunology? I was an orthopedic surgeon and working mainly on osteoclast. And, uh, but I studied the bone disruption in arthritis, so I wanted to connect the uh, immune system and bone. So I moved to the Department of Immunology and trained by Professor Taniguchi. Bone metabolism is depends on the uh, osteoclastic bone formation and the osteoclastic bone resorption. And the balance between the formation and resorption is very important for the normal maintenance of the bone tissue. Osteoclastic bone resorption is involved in many bone and joint diseases like osteoporosis, rheumatoid arthritis, and tumor-related bone disruption. Let's take a look at osteoclasts. This is a microscopic picture of osteoclasts. Uh, they are giant, multinucleated cells. Osteoclasts are generated by the fusion of macrophages. You can see the fusion of osteoclast precursor cells uh, in culture. And I was so fascinated by this uh, phenomenon. The uh, master transcription factor for osteoclast differentiation was not identified. Rank ligand was shown to be essential cytokine for the induction of osteoclast differentiation. And several molecules like NF-kappa B, TRAF6, or CFOS were identified to be essential for osteoclastogenesis downstream of rank ligand. But other cytokines like IL-1 can activate NF-kappa B Trap 6 or so C4, but cannot induce osteoclast differentiation. So we suspected that rank ligand induce a hitherto unknown transfer factor, which is essential for osteoclast differentiation. What was your strategy to identify the master gene in osteoclast? We wanted to get rid of the preconception, so we simply performed uh, genome wide screening. We performed the genome screening using the affirmative gene chip and uh, evaluated the expression of various transcription factors after lung ligand stimulation. And we finally identified NFATC1 is the most highly and specifically induced. And the NFATC1 deficient ES cells did not differentiate into osteoclast in detail. What was your new challenge after the publication of this paper? Since we only showed the role of NFAT C1 in vitro, we wanted to show the role of NFAT C1 in vivo. So we continued to work on the role of NFAT C1 in vivo using the bone marrow chimera and also conditional knockout systems. Another a uh, thing which we wanted to do was the detailed understanding of the signal transduction in osteoclast. What do you think was the greatest impact of this paper? Of course, the identification of the master gene in osteoclast lineage was uh, very important for the field, understanding the bone development. In addition, NHC1 
was originally identified in the immune system and we showed its importance in the skeletal system. So this is a good example of osteoimmunology. Osteoimmunology is a new field connecting the uh, bone and the immune system. And uh, this field uh, focuses the shared molecules between the uh, immuno immune system and the bone systems and also uh, interaction of the two systems. And so uh, this paper is also contributed to the development of the osteoimmunology. Okay, finally, I would like to thank uh, Dr. Gerald Carsenti who picked up the uh, paper for the 10th anniversary.